Do you know, despite so much competition, Netflix still has the largest subscriber count in 2020. The company is older than most of us know it as it started as a DVD rental platform. 41% of Netflix users are watching without paying for it thanks to account sharing and password sharing. Netflix is one of the oldest streaming services available as an app on various devices. Hello and welcome to all our viewers. I welcome you to an all new episode of Data Science Daily where today I'm going to talk about big data in Netflix. With a company that is brimming with data, it is generally a wise choice to put that pile of data to good use. By incorporating principles like machine learning, data analysis, statistics and deep learning. So let's jump on to how Netflix uses big data. With a tremendous user base of more than 140 million subscribers, some data that Netflix records to give an individual taste to everyone are what day you watch content, what time you watch content, the device on which the content was watched, how the nature of the content was, searches on the platform, portions of the content that got rewatched, whether content was paused, rewind or fast forward, user location data, when you leave the content, the ratings given by the users, browsing, scrolling behavior and much more. With time, Netflix has deployed certain algorithms which utilize this data and generate critical insights that help steer the organization in the correct direction. Some of these tools and features are Real-Time Recommendation Engine Netflix stores all of the data and using machine learning algorithms, it develops a unique pattern indicating the viewer's choice. The style would never match with another viewer because everyone's taste is unique. Artwork and imagery selection. The tool used for this is called EVA, which is an algorithm that selects what artwork and images to show to whom. Production planning. Data plays a pivotal role when developers come up with an idea about any new movie or show. A lot of brainstorming happens before anything gets finalized and that's exactly where data comes in. Big data helps draw out possible solutions to many of the problems encountered during the planning stage. Metaflow Metaflow provided data scientists the flexibility to play around with their ideas by offering a set of fine-tuned features that nearly makes Metaflow feel as a plug-and-play framework. Ease of work on a distributed computing platform, option to snapshot code as well as data for versioning and experimenting, high performance and high speed S3 client, support for most machine learning frameworks are a few features of Metaflow. Polynote Polynote is a polyglot notebook with help for Scala and various other features developed and open sourced by Netflix. Polynote enables smooth integration of JVM-based machine learning platform with Python to machine learning, researchers and data scientists. Metacat The great pool of data which Netflix operate on is spread across multiple platforms like Thread, Amazon S3, Redshift and MySQL. Netflix created Metaflow with the intent of serving objectives like to unify and provide centralized view of metadata systems to offer a singular API for dataset metadata for platforms to give a solution for business and user metadata storage of datasets. Druid Netflix utilizes Apache Druid to ensure that its users get a high-quality user experience each time. Its job is to offer real-time analytics on databases where queries execute at uncertain time periods and frequently. It's extremely scalable and offers great performance for any given workload. Well, this is all about today's episode. Don't forget to connect with us on our social media handles until I meet you in the next episode of Data Science Daily.